Stephen Rhodes. Your views and the latest news. BBC Three Counties Radio. Now, here's a bit of a mystery. Three councillors have resigned this week from Letchworth Council. <clears throat> None of the councillors uh, will come on the show and tell us why. Now, I gather, Lee, that you have contacted uh, each and every one of the three councillors and spoken to them directly, is that right? I have done, yes. And why can't they come on? Uh, all of them said that they're not very good on the radio. Were they all in the same room at the same time? No, they weren't in the same room at the same time. So hang on, each one you rang up and said, would you come on the radio? And they said, I'm not very good on the radio. Mm. And I said, can you explain to us then why? Um, why you have resigned from the council? And yeah, that's something good. along the lines of, uh, we're not happy the way and the direction that the council's going at the moment. Oh. What, is this, is this the way they're fighting the Heritage Foundation over who runs the town and all that sort of mm. thing? OK. Right. Uh, the campaign group Help Eliminate Letchworth Parish Council is now planning to put forward people to stand in those vacant positions. Uh, Matthew Heaton is from the group. Good morning to you, Matthew. Uh, good morning, Stephen. You haven't been leaning heavily on councillors, have you? <laughs> oh, in fact, no. Um... Uh, we, as, uh, as help, uh, in fact, haven't been able to speak to the councillors ourselves, really. Yeah, they've never associated themselves with us. Uh, being that we've always stood to uh, oppose what they're doing and uh, get the council shut down. So uh, it is very interesting that three have now made a dramatic resignation and uh, given interesting reasons as to uh, why they feel that... Uh, well, the, the, reason's a bit, the reason's a bit vague, to be honest. Well, in, in, uh, they have made some public statements that have been put in the press mm. yesterday, and uh, the main reason would seem to be that, um, given due to lack of um, progress within the council, lack of uh, value for money, or even any good relations with other public bodies, they've, um, certain councillors have been trying to uh, run the council for what it ought to be. Uh, it seems that we have... Uh, what appears to be a rotten core of the council that are trying to run it for their own personal agendas and uh, maybe a personal thing. Well, well, this this would be your contention, and you'd like to see the end of it anyway. So you know, you're you're hardly likely to speak, speak um, you know, in an impartial way about their, their their aspirations. I mean, the mayor of the council, Philip Ross, he's quoted as saying that the council is better off without them. Yeah. I gather. Yes, we were quite shocked with the insensitive nature of his comments there. Um, but, but was, there, was, was, there a, loss, yes. was there a bit of a bust-up or something? Oh, we don't know. We're not privy to the mm. uh, internal workings of the council. Uh, you managed to get a councillor elected onto the council a month ago. Uh, though it's got to be said that one was unopposed. Uh, do you think it's going to be easy to get more people from your campaign on? Uh, yes. Uh, we're with, we are within the six, uh, or outside the six months uh, that is uh, before the next uh, elections which are due. So uh, the three positions should come up for election now and we will be uh, posting three candidates to fill those vacancies. So, uh, with any luck, in uh, a short space of time, we'll have four councillors on, uh, on the council. Doing what? Just trying to spoil everything? Uh, no, well, our campaign is that so the council was never necessary in the first place when it was set up in 2005. Everything appeared to be covered as far as governance of the town was concerned. But you're asking to be elected by people that you will then not be representing? Uh, well, um, I mean, that, that's it, isn't it? Our manifesto is basically that we will shut down the council and save the people of Letchworth the uh, rather high cost that they've been imposing upon us. Well, in the scheme of things, it's not that much, is it? Well, it's £600,000 more than we used to uh, have to fork out. So, uh, and we feel that that money doesn't represent good value for money. The things that the council are doing do not represent the wishes of the people of Letchworth. Uh, being that the council doesn't seem to adhere to uh, any voice in Letchworth as to uh, what people actually want the council to do, they are just embarking mainly upon uh, what appears to be attacking the Heritage Foundation for presumably their personal reasons. It's all a bit messy there in Letchworth at the moment, isn't it? Do you, do you expect to have opposition when you stand? Uh, it would be nice to have opposition. When Peter Groves got in uh, the other month, nobody stood against him. Yeah. But, I mean, that, uh, that shows that people are becoming, you know, disinterested in the whole process, it would seem. How many votes did he get? Well, of course, he was unopposed, so election wasn't necessary. Oh, I see. There was, yes, officially, there was no election at all, of course. Yes, yeah. Sorry, yeah. I'm a bit slow. It's early in the morning. Um, right. Hmm. <laughs> so you'd like... I mean, would it be better just not to have anybody voted at all? Surely that, that would be more of a statement than anything else? Yes, it, it is a... 
statement when nobody stands to oppose uh, one of our candidates. No, 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 but nobody stands at all. What about that? What happened? What actually happens if nobody stands? Well, if nobody stands, what will happen is they will co-opt uh, another of their buddies onto the council. Uh, before uh, help set itself up earlier this year, six councillors had already uh, resigned, apparently, and six uh, people had been co-opted without any form of uh, election uh, prior to that date. So, uh, of uh, the 24 councillors, we, uh, we're now down to 14, I think, that are actually elected. So this councillor that you did manage to get on, uh, even though you are dedicated to the, to the as it were, the destruction of this council, <laughs> yeah. um, how does it work? Does he go along to meetings and just every time somebody suggests something, he says you're wasting your time? I mean, what, what happens? Oh, Peter Groves, uh, yes, he gets to go along to the full council meetings yeah. and can uh, interact in the same way as any of the other councillors. But how does he interact if he doesn't want the council to be doing anything at all? Well, what we are aiming to do prior to May 2009 is influence the council to reduce the precepts that they are going to charge. In uh, the next uh, month or two, they'll be si deciding how much money they are going to uh, raise from the town for the forthcoming precept, which will be uh, coming to place in March. Last year, they decided to raise it to the uh, quite astronomical figure of £600,000. And uh, for uh, what is a parish-level council, that's an enormous amount of money. And uh, you know, this is one of the reasons why help was set up. Would you not be better off getting behind the whole thing and trying to do something constructive rather than something destructive? Well, we've definitely thought about trying to uh, make the council work as it should do, but uh, it's uh, quite clear that uh, from what's happened that there's every chance that even if we did get on the council and run it properly, then in the future more people like those that are currently... Uh, driving the council's um, policies would get back onto the council and we'd back, end up back in the same situation that we are now. So our, our, our policy is just to shut the whole thing down because it is unnecessary. Happy days in Letchworth. <laughs> uh, Matthew, have a nice day. Thank you very much. It's my daughter's birthday today. Could you say hello to her? No. <laughs> What's her name? Jenny. No, I can't say hello to Jenny on her birthday. Sorry. Thank you, Stephen. This is Stephen Rhodes at breakfast. BBC Three Counties Radio.